Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video if you're new here. Hi, hello, my name is Erica. Ashley. I upload three videos every single week on Sundays, Tuesdays, and on Thursdays. So if you enjoy project panning, eyeshadow tutorials, makeup hauls, all the fun stuff, and makeup and beauty, then I'd love you to hit that thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and also turn on the notification bells if you enjoy my content. Today, I'm going to introduce a new project onto my channel. This, I am late to the game on this one. It is at the Partners in Cream. They usually start it up in January and it ends in December. I am jumping on in June. So half a year for me. I am recently starting to find all these projects that I am loving. A lot of them do start in January. So I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Let's just go ahead and roll with it. Let's just go ahead and enjoy it. So if you want to see my picks for my Partners in Cream project, then go ahead and keep on watching. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, we are back for another intro. This is Partners in Cream. You pick three to six cream products that you want to work on throughout the year. It is a year-long project with monthly updates on the 10th, up on around the 10th of every single month. So you will be seen June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So I am late to the game. <laughs> The creators are Stephanie Lyons and Da Lin from Outward Processing. I will have those beautiful ladies linked down below as well. You can follow along with all the other beautiful ladies who are participating in this project with the hashtag Partners in Cream and Partners in Cream 2022. My first time doing it, I've been seeing it and I have been loving the idea and I was like, well, let me just wait for next January. Well, why am I going to wait? Let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. It is rolling style year long project and you can do a quarterly refresh. So if we see this in June, in September, I will reevaluate all my stuff and I'll probably pick in six new items. See my progress on three months because this is the very first time that I am doing this project. I'm super excited for it. I'm pumped. Um, cream products do go bad faster than you know, your powders and stuff like that. So I want to show a lot of my collection, my huge collection, lots of love. So that's why I am doing all these projects and a way to rotate through. But all my goals, I did weigh everything in grams. So um, we're just going to see how far my progress is for September. And then in September, I'll reevaluate if I want to keep that in there or if I want to like switch out, like I do have a liquid lipstick. So if I want to switch out that lipstick, for the fall time then I can do that so I kind of picked like spring to summer products right now so I might reevaluate in September and pick fall appropriate products you can wear whatever you want all year long I just personally do love to do by the season and by the holidays so enough jibber jabber let's go ahead and get on into it my first product that I picked is a liquid lipstick. It is in Catnip. I have a picture from a long time ago. I will pop it in right here and I love it. I just don't show this color a lot of love. I, and I have no clue why. I really don't. Um, well, one reason is because of COVID. Wearing masks. I still wear my mask at work. So I don't really wear a lot of lipstick. So I was like, I need to wear them, you know, try to get as much love I do have a lot, of, a lot of lipsticks and a lot of liquid lipsticks but this one weighs in at 23.59 grams and it is a beautiful beautiful like purpley color I quite love it and I quite enjoy this one I honestly I like the ABH formula I don't really believe that they are super drying for me you know I like them a lot of people don't, but I personally do. So this is the shade Catnip. We're just going to see what our progress is. And I'm going to try to wear this quite often, maybe at least once a week with this shade. So you will reevaluation come September. Next, I have this lip liner in magenta. Look how old and crusty this one is. I am, I've said in previous videos, I am in the beginning to middle process of putting all of my makeup into a spreadsheet and I found this this is magenta I thought it would pair well with this but it really doesn't but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it together 
just to give me a little bit of line. I also have a gloss that I am trying to finish so I can put this and then the gloss over with so I can get a lot of use out of this. Maybe you can use this in the waterline. This is my oldest lipstick and I mean this is my oldest lip liner in my collection. Obviously it is old and crusty but it is a MAC pencil so MAC pencils are pricey. All you have to do is just sharpen it it doesn't smell funky you know it really doesn't because you sharpen it and that that tip is gone so I have measured it right here or right here <laughs> right here <laughs> I was like wait a minute but yeah um, so that what it look like right now in this intro I would have never thought to put lip liners, but I did see Dalin put lip liners in hers, and I guess, you know, they are creamy, so I was like, oh yeah, let me get through some of my lip liners, because I have quite a collection of lip liners. More than one person should ever own, like, it's a lot. <laughs> Side note, if you are curious of what is on my eyes, I did a Throwback Thursday eyeshadow palette tutorial using the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade eyeshadow palette. Next, I decided to put in my Huda Beauty is the Pink Sands Edition Highlighter Palette. Oh, um, the MAC Lip Liner weighed 1.87 grams. This weighs 144.39 grams. When I did get this, these were busted. This is a cream to powder formula, and I don't show this a lot of love. I do enjoy it. Um, I can either wear it on top, eyeshadow, underneath, so I can, once a multi, use this guy and see what I can do. Um, it's still creamy. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And these, I repressed them. I, did they send me one? They may have sent me one, so I might have two of these in my collection. I am not too sure. But you know what? It's okay. I repressed them and it wasn't, it was perfectly okay. So I am going to, maybe I want to hit pan on one of these. That's the goal for this. So this might be in here all year long because these are all year long appropriate shades. So I do want to hit pan in, in any one of them. Maybe my focus will be, let's see, let's see. What color screams to me? Probably this one will be my focus and it is, you know, quite nasty. Because <laughs> I did have to repress it. But it didn't dry it out, and I got this a long time ago when I was subscribed to Ipsy, and I haven't been subscribed to Ipsy for a very, very long time. Next is a cream blush from e.l.f., and it is in Peach Perfection. I got this with a, a long time ago as well with a free gift purchase for um, e.l.f., and this is before they started to do the putty blushes, and <laughs> um, this is what this looks like. This weighs in at 28.91 grams. It is still quite creamy. Um, I have another one, the newer ones from them. This, this is old packaging. They don't even have this anymore. But I was like, you know what? It was a free gift. I didn't spend my money, but I want I do want to show it some love. And I do have the um, Elf Cosmetics Putty Putty one, Putty Blush in Bali into a project, but I feel like that's more fall. So it's like once I use that, I want to I do quite enjoy it, so I want to put this in. So, I don't know what my goals are for this project. Um, just want to use up some things in my collection, but this will be in, and we'll see how I'm getting on with it in September. If I want to leave it in or roll it out, so we will see in September how this is. But yeah, this is, it still works perfectly okay. I mean, the, from the swatch. Just gotta make sure they're closed really tight. And then these last two, I do have them on my cheeks. The first one is the Color Pop Blush Super Shock Cheek in Parallel. This is the blush that I have on today. And this is a cream to powder as well. This weighs in at 29.41 grams. So I will insert a video as well. But that's what it looks like. Very beautiful. I think it's very 
springtime appropriate. You do get that nice glow if you don't want, you know, a super, super pigmented blush. And I do hear these do dry up very fast. I have had this in my collection for quite some time. Um, and it's perfectly okay, but I was like, they dry up, so let me put this in a project. And then to go along with it, this is the highlighter in Wisp. This is also going to be in here, and this weighs 28.89 grams. And this is what this looks like. I do like this formula. It's very beautiful. Um, I use this over powder. Some people use it under powder, but I use it over powder, and it does not lift up anything. I haven't noticed that it does. And I've used these, I have, I've had these for years, and I do love them. Um, but yeah, I would love to. So the goal for these two fellas is to hit pan. So hit pan on this, and then that one shade in the Huda Beauty palette. And then the rest, I'm just going to try. Well, the lip liner I do want to use up. But yeah, I'm doing a hip pan. I see people hitting pan. I'm like, I want to hit pan on some things. So the lip liner is to use up the cream blush. I'm not too sure what my goal is. The lipstick, I'm not too sure what my goal is. Hip pan on one of these. And hip pan in that one shade from the Huda Beauty face palette. Highlighter palette. And I have been watching a lot of beautiful ladies have been doing this. I love watching their progress and their projects and their updates. And I don't know why I never participated in it. Um, this year I am doing a lot more projects, but that is just to rotate through my collection. Um, I don't foresee myself like this, you know, panner that I'm going to use the whole entire palette. <laughs> I don't think that I can do that. I will try, but, you know, we can all try together. So we shall see. Like I said, if you want to see other beautiful ladies and gents that are doing it, the hashtag is Partners in Cream. So these are my cream products that I am working on. I do have six, but... Maybe I have <laughs> nine with these, so but I'm counting that palette as one. So I think everything pairs, pairs well together. It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing, and I took my time and I really did pick out these products. And I'm like, I can use that all the time. I can use that all the time. I wouldn't mind using that all the time. I wouldn't mind using that color all the time, you know. So I took that into consideration as well. I didn't want to put like a blue lipstick or green lipstick or you know I do wear red a lot but I was like I don't know what I want to do so yeah this is my color story for my partners in cream project intro let me know down below if you are doing this video and I will click and subscribe to your channel if I'm not already and I will watch your progress. You will probably be on update number five or six by the time this one goes up, but it's perfectly okay. And if you want to join, even if you want to join later on in the year, just join. You know, you don't have to have YouTube. You don't have to do it on Instagram. I have my little notebook right here with the products, the weight, and you can just tally it on your own and, and little book or, you know, a little index card keep it wherever you get dressed and just see what how often you use certain products or if you're like I don't know what I, how I feel about that one track your progress you will learn a lot about a project you will learn a lot about a product by using it consistently and that's another reason why I love doing these projects because I am showing older products in my collection some love and I am either re-loving it or if I didn't care for it I fall in love with it or I like it again or I appreciate it or I figure out how to use it in a different way to kind of make use of my collection of the things that I do purchase but thank you for joining me in this video my wonderful beautiful friends I love you also so much and I really appreciate you watching my content don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe before you go and also turn on the notification bells to so be aware of all my future uploads and all my updates for all my projects I do like to do hauls, I do like to do other things. So it's not just projects, project planning in my channel. It is quite a variety of things. And I, I love that because I, I love so many things. But thank you for joining me in this video. And I love you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye guys.